Yeah, uh, earlier on you were saying that um, uh, it would be best for you to actually share evidence for Mirza Ghulam Ahmed in the first place. Um, would you mind going into that? I think it would be, it would be beneficial to see um, the type of information that you consider to be evidence. Mm -hmm. Oh, by the way, can I answer that? Yeah, uh, Imran, just restart the clock, please. Thank you. Go ahead. Okay, by the way, actually, you should, you should understand that uh, I don't know intentionally, intentionally or not intentionally, you are trying to present the claim of Masih Muad incorrectly. Masih Muad is telling himself, is presenting himself as he is the promised Messiah and Mahdi who was prophesied by the Holy Prophet. Two minutes later. So and the Holy Prophet, brother, one second, you because your, your time is exactly as the brother, claims brother, brother, your brother. time is up. One second. So, brother, to me, you spent two minutes telling us there's lots of evidence without giving us any one piece of evidence. For the Allah. question was asked you, why are you Ahmadi? Tell us why. Okay. Oh. And, and you spent two minutes telling us there's lots of evidence and. Subhanallah. So, uh, brother um, Farid, please restate uh, yourself. Okay, okay. Actually, by the way, do you want me in two minutes? Wait, wait, let Farid speak. Your time is up. Brother Farid's uh, going to, to speak for a moment. Brother, brother Tamim, brother Tamim, it's not your time now. It's not your time. Things, it's not your time? Brother Tamim. I don't think he understands the concept of how our stream works. Yes, I mean. Razi, you need, to, you need to explain to your elders, your murabbis, whoever they are, you know. Not to speak when it's not your time. What is Yalla Bismillah? Maybe instead of asking. Yeah, okay? Can I speak now? I know you cannot present all the evidence in two minutes, but please give us a taste of evidence that you find compelling that the Mirza Ghulam Ahmed is a prophet. Tafadhal, I give you the rest no, of no. my time. Farid, explain it. Can you please ask the question in Arabic as well, please? Ya Tamim, atlub minnik al-dalil ala nubuwat Mirza Ghulam Ahmed. Adri in al- Ha, my son? No? He doesn't want in Arabic. And it has a taste of evidence of the truth of Masih Muawad alayhi salatu wa salam. Is that actually the Holy Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa sallam prophesized when, when the, uh, the, the, the camels will be abandoned then the Messiah will come when the camels will be abandoned. Mm -hmm. This is in the hadith. Fadal, fadal. Let, let me continue. Let me continue. By the way, did you say uh, the camels will be abandoned or abandoned? abandoned? No, no, it will be abandoned. Will be abandoned, okay. which Carry means on, yeah. when they are no longer used. And exactly, actually, this was the time of Masih Muawad alayhi salatu was salam. Uh, Brother Fried, for, correct me if I'm wrong in this. It's specific, the, the camels are related to the zakat. Yeah. So they're specifically the Prophet peace be, peace be, specifically mentions young female camels instead of you know generally camels, right? And he says young female camels la yusa alayha. So um you have some some like modern scholars that have understood this to mean people will stop riding young female camels. Um, classical scholars did not get that because they're like, why did the prophet say young female? Well, that's naturally because they're so expensive. So, yeah, like uh, there, there's no reason for us to assume that this is referring to all camels. Okay. If the prophet, peace be upon him, wanted to refer to all camels, he would say, he would, he would use, you know, jimal, for example, a general term. But why he's not, uh, why Allah said, or uh, the Holy Prophet وسلم, said, he is Ibn Maryam. That's just to tell us he will be in the position of Isa ibn Maryam. He will be like Isa ibn Maryam. Like, for example, we, when we were saying about uh, Palestine, that is very well known between Arabs. We are looking for Salahuddin to come and to liberate Palestine. Okay, so here's the thing. If someone says we're waiting for Salahuddin, is there a difference of opinion among the people that Salah al is dead and is never coming back to life, there is no difference of opinion. In regards to Isa alayhi salam, at least, even if you don't want to accept that Muslims didn't hold this opinion, at least you need to be aware, you, I'm sure you are aware, that Christians had this opinion. What's the wisdom behind Rasulullah saying something that um, supports their belief 
that endorses their false ideology? What's the wisdom behind giving them that if it's not actually Isa bin Maryam? You said, what, what is the wisdom? You, so, so you are now asking about the wisdom. And I can tell you the wisdom. But these are facts and the facts. Then I can give you the wisdom. And if you don't like, and if you like, or if you don't like, that's up to you. Two minutes later. Um, but I, I honestly did not understand what, what the wisdom was. Um, did you guys understand what the wisdom was from... No? Uh, Hashem? Ibn Mansour? No? Shall I repeat, Shall I repeat it again? Make it simple. So you said, why the Holy Prophet didn't say he will be a different person? Why he didn't say, say he's a different person and he's not Isa ibn Maryam? Because the Holy Prophet the Holy Prophet himself actually is which means he is using the highest and the best way of language to speak to the companions. And the companions actually, they understood him Totally. He's using this way, which means somebody is coming on the, on the feet of the, the Jesus of Asa. He will be like Asa. And because of that, he will be called somehow to be Isa ibn Maryam. And he's going to fulfill this and that. You know, the majority, the vast majority of the Sahaba, they understood he must be a different person because they knew from the Holy Quran that Isa alayhi salam died according to at least 30 verses of the Holy Quran, 30, 33 verses of the Holy Quran. And the person who's coming, he will be like, he will be like. Exactly as when we say, for example, we want Salah al-Din to elaborate Palestine, there, is, there should be no any further clarification about that the revival of Salah al-Din. Is he going to be the same person? No, no, just very easy to, to mention the whole issue by mentioning the name of the person who was doing this uh, duty before and the other person who's going to, to do the same and the similar duty if you just uh, tell his name only his name that will be very sufficient in arabic and i guess also in any other languages so this is the wisdom the holy prophet وسلم, it will not be helpful if you would say okay mirza Ghulam ahmad of qadian is going to come after 1300 years later because everybody will go and live in Qadian and call himself to be, to call his son to be yeah. Mirza Ghulam Ahmad. You know? I, I, got, I have to respond, guys. I have to respond. Rasulullah could have simply said a man like Ibn Maryam. He could have simply said something like that. Unfortunately, unfortunately, because he said Isa Ibn Maryam, you have all the commentators literally claiming that this is actually Isa. You even have Mirza Ghulam Ahmad thinking that Isa is going to be coming back. And Rasulullah, what he should have done, what he should have done is he should have said, a man like Isa bin Maryam. The, the, the other question before. Uh, the brother Farid, when he asked about why the Holy Prophet وسلم, didn't mention clearly that he is a different person. By the way, actually, the Holy Prophet وسلم, mentioned in his hadith, in his hadith, many, in many places that he will be different. He will be different. But you should understand it is not very simply can be understood by some, somebody who's not, who's not intended to, to understand. Why doesn't the Prophet, peace be upon him, keep things simple and say a man like Isa? Instead, he gives us three reports which all indicate that it's actually referring to a Nabi Isa alayhi uh, salam. And all it has led to, you have to be honest, Ya Tamim, all it has led to is commentators claiming that Isa is going to come back. This is, if, if yeah, you have to admit, this is the majority view of scholars throughout history. And even Mirza Ghulam Ahmed thought that this was referring to the actual Isa. And then, oh, oh, it's me. It's me, folks. I thought it was Isa bin Maryam. Turns out it's me. One hour later. You can have prophecies that like our metaphorical nature, I, I, that's fine. But the problem here is we're referring to a prophecy that's used for the authority of someone. Okay, so that's a, that's a very clear problem because I could say that this prophecy refers to me. Okay, because uh, by the way, like I think I have um, more than Mirza Ghulam Ahmed going here. Um, can, we, can we put it up? Just like very briefly.
Hey, brother um, Hashim Mansour. Okay, I, I got it. I got it. Oh, um, yeah. So here's the slides. I don't know if you have access to Imran. Oh yeah. Okay. So I swear by Allah that the son of Mary. So by the way, like my mom, her, her name isn't Maryam, but she, but she was called Maryam um, at one at one point when when she was really young, like she got sick and like her her parents called her Maryam for a while. Yeah. So I am, you know, it could fit me. It fits me better than Mirza Ghulam Ahmed. Yeah. Uh, breaks the cross because everyone knows, like I destroy Christians. But here specifically, it's referring to David Wood. Kill the swine, clearly referring to Apus. You know, so I could do this. I could do this, man. I, I just have to. I have. To, uh, you know, I'm sounding like a broken record, but the Prophet, peace be upon him, according to you guys, should have simply said a man like Isa instead of Isa bin Maryam. And uh, Razi, your best answer to this was it's very clear in the Quran. Well, and, and the only the only group of people that said that Isa is actually someone like Isa and not actually Isa is a group that you have no idea who they are. You can't name them. You, you don't know who they're referring to. You can't name a single scholar that held this position. And most importantly, one more time, ladies and gentlemen, even Mirza Ghulam Ahmed thought that this is literally referring to Isa bin Maryam. 20 seconds. You've, you've moved Please, away from give, give it to him. Yeah. Just okay. give me 20 seconds. Here I have Ibn Hazm Rahmullah's fatwa where he explains the wafa and he agrees here as well that it's death for Sheikh Ibn Hazm. He can read this. It's al muhalla bil athar. Okay. Okay. So here's the thing. Here's the thing. Ibn Hazm, you know why Ibn Hazm made this mistake? Any idea why? You tell yeah. me. It's clear cut in the Quran, so I don't think yeah, yeah, he made a mistake. Yeah. No, he believed Isa is coming back. Literally, Isa bin Maryam, the prophet. Yeah. He believed that. It, so Ibn Hazm made this mistake, according to you. Christian the influence. Reason he made, the reason he made this mistake is because the prophet, peace be upon him, kept saying, Nuzul Isa bin Maryam. All right, the return of Isa bin Maryam. Yeah. Yeah. If the prophet, peace be upon him, said, the return of a man like Isa bin Maryam, Someone similar to Isa bin Maryam, someone of the similitude of Isa bin Maryam, anything like that, Ibn Hazm may have not fallen into that mistake. Okay, so again, even the ulama like Ibn Hazm, who thought that Isa is dead, they still believed that Isa is coming back because the Prophet again and again and again kept on using the words Isa bin Maryam, Isa bin Maryam, Isa bin Maryam, and never made him seem like someone else. Even Mirza Ghulam Ahmed made exactly. the same mistake because they took what the Prophet, peace be upon him, said literally. Why did the Prophet, peace be upon him, so he choose those words? What's the wisdom? Jazakallah, brother Farid. Amazing question. Beautiful question. So Ibn Hazm, alhamdulillah, we do accept that he did believe Hazrat Isa Lassam that by his view was that the same Isa Lassam would come back. And this was his mistake. Now, you said, why couldn't the Prophet make it clear? Brother, it's so clear that Prophet Muhammad said, antum izan nazal abna Maryama fikum wa imamukum minkum. And in other hadith, wa ammakum. He used the word nazala. He never used the word raja'a. Two minutes later. They went astray after the tawafa happened. Today the Christians are astray. This shows his tawafa happened on Qiyamah. He's unaware of what's happening here. Now if he comes back from the skies with his body, there's churches everywhere. How can he say this to Allah that after my death only you know what happened? So the Quran is not waffle brother. It's kalamullah and you should focus on the tafsir. So, in the other so, ayah, the Allah says, Muhammadun illa Razi, 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 Razi. And so it could be applied. Dictor, before and, that, before yes. that, he, he completely avoided my question. Yes. So yes. I, I, I simply said, I was like, what's the wisdom of Rasulullah not making it clear? Yes. That, why didn't he say someone like Isa ibn Maryam? And Razi's response was, because it already is very clear. That was his answer. The problem, again, Razi, one more time, the vast, not, excuse me, not the vast majority, all scholars, all scholars took it literally. All scholars believe that it was Isa bin Maryam, literally Isa bin Maryam, including Mirza Ghulam Ahmed. And the reason for that is because Muhammad, peace be upon him, said Isa bin Maryam, and he didn't say like Isa bin Maryam. 
You want to try that again? You want to try answering it again? So do you understand the, the distinction being made by Brother Fareed? Right. Rezi, please don't. So what we what we what you haven't done in your two minutes, even though you said you're going to answer the question that Brother Fareed has put to you, is you haven't answered his question. Can you repeat the question? Then I missed it because I took. Yeah, I'm going to give you a last. Let Brother Fareed ask it. Okay, perfect. I'll write it again. Thirty seconds, okay. and then I think we'll have to say uh, goodbye to you, and then we I'll can. I'll write it again. This is Abe. Yeah, Razi. This is Abe. Uh, by the way, you're you're incorrect about the whole Imam Makum and Makum. Um, they're both attributed to Abu Huraira, and they're both narrated from Abu Qatad, from Abu Huraira. In one report, he says Imam Makum Minkum. One report says Amakum Minkum. Okay, or Amakum. All right. In any case, um, very briefly, uh, Razi, what is the uh, hikmah? What is the wisdom of the Prophet, peace be upon him, saying um, Isa bin Maryam and not saying? Uh, someone like Isa bin Maryam, this has caused so much confusion. It has played into the uh, uh, innovative beliefs of the Christians um, and supported them in their falsehood. And it has caused so much confusion among the Muslims. The vast majority of Muslims fell into this false belief, including Mirza Ghulam Ahmed. So could you please respond to Can that? Can I get one minute because there's no three questions? Are you at two minutes already? You you missed this that opportunity by giving you out of generosity. The Freed allows me to get one minute. I'll really appreciate that. Brother Freed is such a gentleman. You, you know, you know, like you're not supposed to. You guys shouldn't let me allow him because I'd allow him to talk yeah. for half an hour. Yeah, I, I understand. I, I would so allow we, him. We'd to like talk you to just be to hour. the point. It's very easy to uh, a very okay, straight. So question. the point he said about Abu Hurairah, I never disagreed. I said they're two different narrations. You're not answering the question, there, brother. I'm, I wrote three questions, brother. I'm going no, to answer them all in order. One question, so Rassi, what's the one, one question? question? He Rassi. asked three. I wrote it word Rassi for word. What's the question? He asked me three. I wrote them down. Tell me which one he wants me to answer. The I one, the one I repeated five times. How about that one? What's okay. the wisdom? Jazakallah, brother Farid. Amazing question. Okay, which one? You mentioned three right now. There, there's one I repeated five times during the past. Okay, the Hikm of the prophecies yes. and that one. Yes, okay, yes. The one, the one where the one where the whole Ummah went astray, inclu including okay. Mirza Ghulam Ahmed. Yeah, okay. the Hikmah, please. Okay. So with every prophecy, the Christians say the same thing about the Prophet Muhammad Sallam. Why didn't Jesus just say instead of Spirit of Truth? Why didn't he say a man named Muhammad Sallam will come in the Ummah? The point is the Sahaba and Rasulullah Sallam and the Quran are explicitly clear. Isa Sallam as that and will never return. The reason the latter day Messiah was called Ibn Marim is because of the similarities. After Musa Sallam, 1400 years after him came Isa. 1400 years after the Prophet Sallam came Hazrat Ahmed Sallam. The Ahadith are clear. They look different. Nabi Sallam used the word Nazala. He said Imam okay, Kum yeah, Kum yeah, is up. clear you for those who believe. The thing is, we know you're playing stupid. One hour later. To you and then we can... Right. The Hadith, this Hadith, the, uh, the, the Hadith that we are talking about, who is saying it? The Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam, yeah? Yes. And the Hadith of the Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam is Wahi, yeah? So... I can tell you that's abrogated. It abrogates the hadith can abrogate the Quran. Astaghfirullah, right? Rabbi min kulli dhanbin wa atubu ilay. You just said uh, Isa another, will come another, and abrogate uh, the Quran. Brother Razi. Audhu billah. Brother Razi. Right? Audhu billah. Brother Razi, this is gaslighting. This is this sad, is brother. Your this friend is saying uh, Isa will come Brother Razi. abrogate this is, the Quran. This is Brother Razi. Inna nahnu nadra na zikra. Brother Razi. Wa inna lahu laha bidhu. Brother Razi. Messiah of Christ will come and abrogate. Brother Razi. Brother Razi. Brother Razi. Brother Razi. Brother Razi. I've knew him. This is going on a bloody run. You are, you are, this is passive aggression. This is gaslighting. If you say to me, there's another prophet after the Prophet, Auzu billahi minash shaitan rajim, bismillah, astaghfirullah. This is a, it's a game, uh, Razi. And you, you're better than this. If you if someone makes a Not statement really. that you don't agree with, don't don't make these uh, victimization type of gaslighting, brothers. It doesn't help. Rasulullah mm -hmm. is sent to guide people, not to misguide people. If he only said a man alike, yeah, if he said a man alike, then people wouldn't fall into misguidance, including Mirza Ghulam Muhammad. Brother, go. I'm going back to the Holy Quran, going back to the history of religion. We always find there are two kind of people. One are Munkareen, one are Mu'mineen. Same prophecies. When a Mu'minees look into those, those prophecies, they accept the prophet. When Munkareen look into those prophecies, same wording. 
they say why Allah didn't say that, why Allah didn't say that, why Allah didn't say that. Even now, you go to Jewish channels, they say Messiah is not our Jew, Jewish, Jew, uh, Jesus is not our Jewish Messiah. They say we might be Messiah, but not our Jewish Messiah because we got this, 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 this signs for this for Jesus to come, and this they were not fulfilled by this Jesus. So, brother, Mominin and Munkarin, that's the difference. Same, same prophecies, Munkarin accepted, and a Mominin accepted, Munkarin don't. And Allah will judge on the day of judgment. Okay. Did, according to you, did Mirza Ghulam Ahmed ever speak a lie? Yes, of course. Of course. I, no, no. Did he, I, did he ever tell a lie? Did Mirza Ghulam Of course not. Ahmed, of course not. Okay, so you didn't understand the question. That's why no, I was no, no, so saying that, Mirza Ghulam Ahmed in his entire life. Now, I'm sorry.